It's scary to me. The news didn't settle well with Eagle Point butcher shop owner Cameron Callahan. Now it's just a matter of time before everything else is going to be the same thing. The FDA approving genetically modified salmon could change the playing field for Callahan's business. It grows twice as fast, so it's going to be cheaper for the grocery grocers to buy it. So it'll be cheaper for the consumer, but they don't have to tell you it's GMO, so you won't even know you're buying it. He says he will have to stay competitive with other stores who do sell it. I'll know because I'll, it'll be my competitors blowing me out of the water with fish prices that they can do half of what I'm selling it for because they're doing a genetically modified fish. Callahan refuses to let a genetically modified organism hit his shelves. I don't think it's right. I, do not, I understand that they say that this fish is going to be just like taste, smell, the uh, nutrients are going to be exactly the same, but I think that it's wrong. The FDA says the salmon does not have to be labeled as a GMO. That's something the Lincoln City-based Oregon Salmon Commission is hoping to change. We want to ensure that the product is labeled so there'll be no misconceptions with the public between wild salmon and farmed GMO salmon. Even though consumers may not know, Callahan says it won't get past him. The person selling it to us has to let us know that it's a genetically modified item. So it will say that on the invoice if I were to accidentally get it. Covering your news, Justin Matthews, News 10.